Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on Configure Privilege Escalation on Managed Nodes, which essentially means run stuff as uh, either root or um, another um, privileged user, maybe part of sudo is. Um, so there are several things you can do. Um, one is running as a Pacific user. Uh, we made maybe that's a, a pseudo user of some sort, or we can escalate our privileges to a root user. But obviously, in some cases, that really is an option, an option, and we actually need to use it as some kind of pseudo as. Um, yes, yeah, unlikely in in real life that we're going to use. Well, it's not recommended that we in real life use um, a root user at all times. So first thing, um, let me. I'll just go in as root on here. Because I've pretty much got all my files in that nowadays. So let's just clear out of here. Just have a look in my root directory. Let's just make a new directory. And we'll just do priv esc. Okay. There's nothing in there. Cool. Awesome. So what we try first is um, the become option, and so basically you put it into the into the Ansible uh, into the actual script itself, and basically we just say become equals yes, and it basically elevates your privileges to root privileges, and it allows you to do things like um, installing packages, updating protected files, or all that kind of thing that you may require root um, privileges to do. So. Um, let me go and create a very quick um, Ansible script. Uh, let's do one to create to install a package. Um, let's do httpd. Um, let's just call it httpd dot yaml uh, insert. Okay, so name install um, www services. on uh, client, let's just say on web server. Yep, okay, hosts, we'll set to all, really can't bother with that anymore. Uh, I've only got the one host anyway. Tasks, and we'll set the name of the task to install Apache. So install Apache, and then we're going to do a yum command and name equals HTTP and the state equals late that's the latest and then we're going to do a become yes and then we'll probably need to check the status so if we do a um, yeah let's do a name um check service status and then we just do a service name equals http b whoops state so let's see if that works so we've got yeah looks good so we've got the tasks in there We've put the name, we've got, yeah, yum, etc. It looks good. That should be okay. So one thing I will need is an inventory file. Um, I'll just specify manually here. So let me just go get one from a previous one, a previous uh, example. We just go to inventory 101, inventory, just copy it here. Yep, okay. So Ansible, hyphen playbook, minus I, inventory. 
and then httpd.yaml. Okay, I've got my example servers again. There's quite a few. I've got an OK on one client. So now we've got, so we've got quite a clear message here, okay? So we've got a fatal and we've got an error message, which is saying missing pseudo password. So what's it trying to do? So if we think about it, it's tried to log in as the user. Um, I've said it app as, which I think is my standard user. It's then trying to do a, a pseudo to try and get basically get the root privileges to do the um, that yum command. And it's saying I'm missing the pseudo password. So I yeah, obviously I haven't set it anywhere. And so it just doesn't have the access to do that. So what we can actually also specify is we also do hyphen hyphen ask hyphen become hyphen pass. Then it's asking for the become password. So we set the become as yes. So it's asking for the become password. So I set the type the root password. And now we're going to give it a run again. I made a ha, let's have a look so I've made a, an error here somewhere that should be I think it's latest let's try that so that was on install Apache okay so let's just have a quick look again just make sure I've done that so it's just in the task install Apache is saying it was wrong so it doesn't like the state I put in there so let me see and the options were absence installed latest present removed okay so i put late i didn't put latest so that will be a uh, spelling error looks like um let's try that again yeah, So again pop the password in wait for it to think about it okay so it's taking a little bit longer this time and normally longer is good <laughs> Oh, well, I've messed up here again. Okay. Why have I got just S? Okay. So that should be status. Hopefully this time we've got a successful run. Uh, let's try that again. So become password. So it's good, like you, the main thing is to look at each step as you run the script and just make sure when you enable the task name, so when you give that name, give it something that's very descriptive. So then you can see, um, oh, yep. So give it if you give it a nice description, then we can see what's happening each time. So I know the install Apache is quite clearly installing Apache. Apache. I know that this star task is to check the service status. And I am looking, trying to check the service status and I'm putting status. Okay, so I should be saying started, not status. Um, so let's try, was it fourth time lucky or something? It's, um, yeah, I'm not having a good day with this one. Uh, so let's do it again. So started and best thing about Ansible is just run it over the top again and it will just make sure everything's correct so that client runs okay this apache should be pretty quick because we know it's already installed it will just obviously it'll still run that yum command but the yum command will basically say it's already installed so we just got an okay rather than anything other than that and let's see what the service status is hopefully no red this time Okay, so we're still getting a failure. Let's have a look a bit more information about the failure. So we've got check the service status. We've got a fatal um, when unable to start the service. So we've got connection timed out. Okay, so let's have a little bit more look about the check the service status. So we've definitely gathered the fact facts. Okay, we've definitely installed Apache. Okay, we just cannot start the service. So a few things to note. Obviously, we need to be um, probably administrator uh, or a user or a pseudo user to be able to execute this so maybe it's something to do with that so let's have a quick look again 
add our Ansible script. Um, so if I just go into Vim and then httpd.yaml. Okay. So if we remember again, look, if we look at the tasks, we've got a become yes for this entry, but we don't have a become yes for this entry. So that means it's only going to do the become for this. So if I remove this line and actually insert a new line up here, so it'll be more for the playbook itself rather than that individual play or that individual task. Um, if we run it again now, hopefully that should be it. <laughs> Can only hope, hey. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> So hopefully this should run now. We've got an okay. We we have installed Apache and we have changed the service status. Okay, so if we rerun that one more time, We should then just get OKs completely because the server should be already started. Awesome. So yeah, that means the service already was started so we didn't have to do anything. Uh, so we got all greens, which is great. So final thing I want to do is just run, um, just run a simple command as a, um, as another user. So basically rather than running it as root, uh, I want to just run yeah, it's completely separate it's another user so let's create a new one we just call it um run as user one dot yaml okay so we'll give it a name run as user one let's do hosts oh um become so we're going to do become underscore user and we give the username user one and we're going to say become yes because we need um, privileges to do that as our standard user tasks so what we're going to run we're going to give it a name and let's do create a file in user ones user ones home directory and then it's ansible dot built in dot file and then path so we give the path so it's just home user one let's just give it a great name file dot txt uh, we will give it a state and we give it a state of touch so we can just touch the file to create it and then we're going to set a mode so if we set you read write so the users read write we do a group it's read and then others is read so yeah read write read read okay cool uh so that should be it really name hosts yeah that looks good did i forget a, a dash there on the name i think i did that and these ones all need to be aligned now because I've messed it up. Yeah, let's go and sort that out. Let's do a bit of my own spacing then. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Let's give that a whirl. So Ansible hyphen playbook minus I inventory and then run as user one. I missed something there. Yep, I have missed the pseudo password. So what have I done wrong here? So let's have a look again. As user one, become user, become. Ah. 
Yeah, that's an easy one. I don't I don't need to uh, ask many more questions about that one. So it's ask um become pass. You need to give the password, of course. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, so yeah, we've got an OK client and we've got a changed. So that's done that already. So if I just SSH uh, 2.8 to the client. Oh, let's just clear the screen and just move that up to the top. 10.02.8. And um, then we just do a sudo su. Oh, we don't need to sudo because we su user one. Just go to his. I oh, should be in the home directory already, so just do an ls. And we have a file.txt, which was just created now, and read, write, read, and read, which is great. So, and it's owned and uh, owned by user one, so it's not been created by a different user. So, just exit from that and exit from that again. I suppose one thing worth mentioning is that become, so that become user action I just showed, the become user. Um, so you can literally apply that at the command line as well. So if I remove this entry here, oops, and we've just got to become yes. So just try and run it as root right now. We can also um, ask become pass, and we can also do a become user. There is like a flag like minus k and stuff like this for um, for these things, but I don't. I find the find these much easier to remember because they're um, textual. So become user equals user one. And this should literally just run pretty much the same as the other one uh, did previously. So it's create the file. We just go and go back in. And I'll just bring this back up to the top. So user one and ls and we've got the file so that's good easy as that um that's literally all i want to run through today um thank you for watching once again hope it's been informative um right now i've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my t public page uh, that's for any kind of csg merch if that's anything you're interested in uh got my ko-fi page um for any kind donations um if that's uh, something you're interested in um yep and also just the details of my discord server so that's the best place to ask questions um also we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments and i'll try and um, help out where i can but discord place is a great place we've got a bit of a community going there and um you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you um yeah, it's a great community we're building there well thanks again and i'll see you at the next video cheers